Hello, guys. Today I'm interviewing James Lilly. He is um had well he's a my first ever bare knuckle fighter interview, and he's got six wins, one draw, um three knockouts, and he's against um well he's fighting this weekend uh at Wembley Arena against Tyler Good John. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Um. Are you ready for the fight? How's training been? Has it been okay? It's, it's been good, mate. It's a bit of a a longer camp than I would have wanted. We we were meant to fight July 16th, but the show got moved back by four weeks. So I was in the gym. I'm always in the gym anyway, but I was in the gym a little bit longer than I wanted to. So the last two or three weeks has been a bit of a grind. I know I'm doing the same thing day in, day out. So it's been a bit boring, but yeah, I'm ready. You know, I the you know the weight's coming down nice. Um, I just can't wait to get in there now and do the business. Yeah, are you are you in England now because you've had to like come from Wales? No, I'm traveling up on uh, Thursday morning. We got um a media day and some open workouts Thursday afternoon. Um, then the weigh in Friday, and then obviously the business Saturday. <clears throat> Oh, so, so you're going um on Thursday? Yes. Uh, I got a bit of work in the office to do this week, so couldn't really take time off. Oh, you're you're not like a full time bare knuckle fighter yet. No, not yet, mate. Hopefully, hopefully I'll get the superstardom and I can just fight full time. But no, I work full time. Is that the goal to be like full time a uh, bare knuckle fighter? Uh, not really, to be honest. The, the way I treat sort of boxing and MMA is, you know, it's it's a big part of my life, but it's not, it's not my life. You know, I I've got like a family and I got a job, so I got to provide for them. And unfortunately, boxing and MMA and bare knuckle don't pay that much that I can at the moment. Maybe I'll get there one day, but it's, it's not the goal. You know, it's just something I love doing. Yes, but have you? Um, watched Tyler Good John fights before. Yeah, so uh, I, me and Tyler were signed to the same UK organization. Um, th- there was talk of us fighting before. Uh, when we both were with the same organization, we had a couple of back and forwards on sort of Twitter, and he was a he's come from pro box, and I come from pro boxing. So yeah, I know quite a lot about him. He probably knows the same about me. Um, I think it's going to be the probably the fight of the night this very being very underrated by the people promoting everything you know you got two ex pro boxers both have got very good records in bare knuckle and i think we're going to steal the show yeah this is the fight i'm looking forward to the most thank you and the main event should be good as well yeah that, i'm i'm really <laughs> I'm really happy to be on the same card as you know someone like Mike Perry and MVP. They're massive global superstars in um, MMA and now bare knuckles. So you know it's a privilege to be on the same card as them. And you know this is what I've worked for since I was you know like twelve. I wanted to be on these big shows. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Um. Who, who do you think wins the main event? <sighs> I, I was on the fence before. Um, I, I thought because Mike Perry had had that one uh, bare knuckle, he might have just had the edge because the first time you fight bare knuckle, you've got to like adjust where your hands are going because you haven't got the gloves to hide behind. And I think that would have given him the edge. But I have heard that MVP is looking really good in training. Um, so I'm going to have to swing and go with um, our home nation's fight with MVP. Also, oh, do you... So, um, are you going to say MVP by knockout? Mm, by knockout? I don't know. It, it's, it's hard. and it's, it's weird in bare knuckle because although one punch can, like, end the fight, it can also break your hand. So, you might not be able to show throw those same punches again. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go with MVP by stoppage then, yeah. Yes. Um, what time do you think you'll be fighting? Um, because you're... Um, in a five-round fight. Yeah, um, I you know I think I'm like fifth from the end, but 
but judging by the way the cards are and the way it's built, probably 9 p.m. ish. I'm not too sure to be honest. They, they don't let us know till the day. It's probably about nine o'clock, but I, I can't be certain. Let me know, like on the day. Yeah, I will. No problem. Um, are you so it's at Wembley Arena? So have you? Is there many people coming over from Swansea to support? Yeah, I've got I've done between like seventy and eighty tickets, so I've got a bus coming up. There's people travelling up and staying the night, so yeah, I've done decent numbers for it. Um, there's a bit of a trek from sort of Wales, and you've got like I think there's like rail strikes and stuff this weekend, so it's a bit of a bit of a nightmare for people to get there. But yeah, I always bring a, a decent crowd. Um, they'll probably be the loudest in the arena as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing them all. Eat. When you drew your um one of your your fights, do you like always go to see your fans, no matter what the result is afterwards? Yeah, I'm um, yeah, you no, know, I've lost in pro box and I've lost in MMA, so losing doesn't bother me. I used to really bad, like I used to be a grump and you know shut myself in, but it's part of the game, and I learn from it now. And you know, I I feel that someone comes to watch me fight, they deserve to me to have a beer with them after and have a chat with them, you know. Um, so, yeah, I love to get amongst it. Win or lose, it doesn't bother me. You know, I'm here to win, but you just got to take the fight as it come. And, yeah, I'll be there having a beer with everyone after. Yeah. So, so well, after the fight, are you going to, like, meet Tyler after the fight and just – do you meet your opponents after the fight just to have a chat with them? Yeah, I got a pretty good relationship with most of the guys I fought. Um Said me and Tyler had a couple, a bit of beef before, but that's kind of like died a death. Um, and I always respected him as a fighter. So yeah, I got no problem with him. Um, there's no bad blood. So once we've stopped punching each other in the face, we have a beer. <laughs> yeah, but at the end of the day, there's only one winner, mate, and that's you. That's right, mate. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but you're not. Like overestimating, and um, no, you're not underestimating them. No, definitely not. Especially sort of in bare knuckle, you know, it's slightly different to boxing, where you know the damage you can take. So I, I'm always prepared. It doesn't matter who I'm fighting. Um, I'm always training. I'm always um, putting myself through the grind. So yeah, I, I'm in the best possible shape, and there'll be no excuses on my part. I know everyone says that, and then says, "Oh, I was injured," but. There's not. If he's better than me on the night, he's better than me. There's no, um, there's, there's no like overconfidence for me. I know I got a job to do. I know he's beatable, and I think I can beat him. So, otherwise, I wouldn't take the fight. There's no point in me fighting people I don't think I can beat. Otherwise, I'm I, you know I might as well not do it. Yeah. Who's been your hardest fight like so far? Um. <clears throat> It, it, the the Adam Grogan fight, which was like my third fight, which I sh should have really lost. Um, I was lucky to get the decision. Uh, I think it's like you said. I, I think I probably underestimated him. Uh, he yeah, put me off my game. But, uh, no, yeah, he lost his a lot. His, the fight before me got stopped, and I I stopped two guys. So I thought I was gonna um, just beat him. Um, my game plan was out the window, but from that fight. I kind of changed the way I fight in bare knuckles. So, it was, like I said, it was a good learning experience because instead of trying to be aggressive in a forward fight, I switched to sort of counter punching and picking my shot. So, it was good to be involved in that war and come out the other side. And even if I'd lost, you know, it would have changed the way I fought. So, it was it was a good learning experience. Yeah. Why did um you retire from like boxing and switch to bare knuckle? Well. I, I kind of lost a little bit of love with boxing. I was waiting around for ages for fights and there's a bit of politics involved with fighting away and stuff. So I got into MMA uh, and then it just seemed like a natural progression because the best parts of my game are striking. So I wasn't really good at grappling or wrestling. And then bare knuckle was a chance to be involved in a new growing sport. So, you know, I hit the ground running. Um, I'm, I was ranked highly in the UK organization. I'm ranked highly in the US one. So, you know, people are going to look back and see me as one of the, the first people that were getting up there, first Welshman in the BKFC. So, yeah, it's, it's 
it's a growing sport that I'm excited to be a part of. And now it's not like it used to be like a like a dirty word like bare knuckle boxing, but now it's seen as another sport. You're seeing the fights ranked and scheduled on box rec. You know, major media outlets are covering it now, so it's it's completely changed. So yeah, it's it's good to be a part of it. Yes. Didn't Ty, am I right in saying that Tyler lost his last fight? Yeah, he lost to um, Luis Palmino, who's the champion at 155 and 165. And he's considered the best in the world. And now Tyler's gone over to train with him. So I think um, we're going to see an, an improved Tyler. But I said, I, I'm prepared. I, you know, I don't think there's many men who are going to beat me. Um, and to be honest, you know, Palomino's a hard fight for anyone. So, um, you know, there's no uh, great sort of, there's no negative from him losing against a champion like that. Oh, so he, he's had a title shot already? Yeah. Have, are you, have you had a title shot yet? or? N- not in BKFC. I think when I win this one, that'll be the next step. Um, but if I have to go through... like How many titles are there in Bare Knuckle? Is there just one title? They do do an interim title as well, but um, that that's usually only if so the champion's injured and can't defend it, but there's one at each weight. Uh, I think uh, even if I've got to go through the top five guys before I get a title shot, I'll do that. You know, it's, it's no dramas. I may have never done it the easy way, so... Yeah, I think that should that should be next after this fight. But like I said, if I've got to fight another guy, and then another guy, I'll do that until I get a shot. Yeah. Are you, are you excited? Not at the moment. Um, I, I It's weird. It's a bit like a roller coaster of the emotions. I've still got like a day and a half left in work. I've still got to do another little training session tonight. Go get my stuff ready. So at the moment, I've got a few things in the way before I can get excited. Once I get up there, I'm checked in my hotel and I'm chilling out in my room. Then I'll start kicking in. But at the moment, there's there's a couple of things in the way which kind of occupy my mind, so I don't overthink it. Yeah, that, there's only I think it's in wait four days, is it? What do we know? Yeah, it's about that. Yeah, <laughs> probably worked out better than me. <laughs> yes. So, so not long at all. No, I said like it. It still seems quite far away for me. You know, it's, I know people are only saying four days, but, you know, I, I, we were saying this like 10 weeks ago. It's 10 weeks away. It's just slow, slowly building towards it. And Has it if felt I was, slow? Like, has like the build-up to the fight, have, has it been, like, slow for you? Yeah, it's, it's been really slow. Like, because you're training sort of twice a day, all you're thinking about is what you're doing the next day in the gym is... It's weird, you know, it's um, once I get up there and once we start getting involved with the media and stuff, it'll probably give me a lift and stuff. But at the minute, I'm just just another week at the minute until we get that a little bit closer. Yes. Oh, I saw you were at the boxing in, um, was it a Pat Barrett show, I think? in. That's it, Car- Cardiff Bale Arena on Saturday. Yeah, because I, I watched that on it. It was on YouTube. Who, who, were, who were you there for? So the last guy who fought, a guy called Josh Kagan. Oh yeah, he was. He's, good. He was one of the guys who tra- He's one of the guys who trains me. So um, I went up to support him. Yes, he, he did a good job, didn't he? Yeah, the, the, there was a few good fights on there on the bill. Um, a couple of like guys I spar with and stuff. So who, who you know, did you good. spar with? Who was on that bill? Um, <laughs> ben Crocker. Oh, uh, he, he Ethan was George. good. Yeah, Ethan George and Connor McIntosh. Um, I can't remember who else was on the bill, to be honest, but they're, they're the main ones I went up to support because, yeah. you know, I spent I spend some time with them. Are they coming down to support you this weekend? A couple of them are, yeah. Some of them aren't, you know. They, they've just had a fight themselves, so yeah. I think they, prob- they probably want to uh, eat pizza and just chill out now. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's your favourite like your go-to meal after you've had like a fight. Oh, I'm a pig. I'll eat anything. It'll be burgers, pizza, Chinese curry, whatever. Like, but I'll. I'll What's I'll that in the arena? You'll just go and get. Um, to be honest with you, once once I've like had the fight, I I don't really feel like eating. 
like I'll have, I'll have a couple of beers and stuff, but I've never won. It's usually sort of later on. So it all depends on what time we get out of the arena and stuff. I'm, I'm not much of a, an eater if I'm drinking. So if I have a couple of beers after the fight, I probably won't eat then until the morning. But then on the way home, we'll be stopping in Burger Kings and <laughs> whatever else we can find. Five guys. I'm not going forward to a five, guys. Yes. Um, What's your favourite strike in a fight? Um, anyone that lands. <laughs> um, no, I, I I like to throw, I like to throw like quick, fast shots. But I don't have a favorite. Um, my right hands kind of stopped the last two guys, so I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> yes. Do you get nervous before like you walk out in front of all the fans? It's not so much the fans because you don't really notice them. You've got like this tunnel vision, but. I do get nervous um, up until sort of the actual walkout because you kind of get in your own head, just sitting in the change room, thinking about all the what ifs. You know, um, it's more of a mental game within the change room. But once once you start the walk, um, it's all good. You know, it, it's you don't really notice the fans. Um, you don't see any faces in the crowd. It's it's, can you it's not weird. Hear them? Like when when they're singing your name, do you not like? Can you not hear them when you're in there? No, I, I kind of, I kind of get like blinkers on, so I, I don't really know what's going on outside the ring, and I'm just focused on my opponent. I barely hear my corner man. It's weird. This it's only when I get back to the corner they they give me instructions and I'll, and I'll hear them. Uh, but yeah, but other than that, no, it's it's weird that I now and again you might hear a voice shout something, but no, I, I'm I pretty kind of go into like a zone, and no, I don't hear much, don't see much, just. To swap in punches. Yeah. Wait, so when you drew that fight, did you think you lost that fight? No, it was the... I, I thought I'd won the, the one I drew. It was the the one, two fights before that that I won. I thought I'd lost. I thought... Which he, one was that again? Adam Grogan. Oh, yeah. Was that the guy who had one win, one defeat? I think so, Yes. He's never fought since he's fight you. That's it. Yeah, he hasn't fought since. Um, Is he retired? Yeah, I believe so. He's got um, uh, he's got a baby and stuff now. You know, I think he was a bit disheartened because he should have got the decision. Which I said, you know, I, I was happy to give him a rematch, but life moves on, unfortunately. Yeah, you. If you rematched him, you would have have to make it even more convincingly. Yeah, definitely. It's um, that you know, it's kind of uh, something that hangs on my head that you know he should have got the decision, um, and it probably hangs over his head. So we wanted to put it right, and me putting it right would be me beating him, and him putting it right would be him getting revenge. So yeah, we were happy to do it. It just never happened, and um, our lives have gone different directions now. So like, you know, I just wish him all the best. Yes, and. Do you have any advice? My last question is, do you have any advice for someone who wants to be like a bare knuckle fighter when they're older? Um, I would say get some like fight experience. Like, Although bare knuckle now is becoming like another option for people, youngsters to go into um, instead of boxing or MMA. I would say try and get some experience fighting on like amateur scenes and you know the the semi pro scenes or whatever else because it's a big it's a big change. You can't really train for Ben at all. You can't spy your friends with no gloves on and anything like that. So I'd say get some fight experience and you know if you if you like MMA and boxing, do the two because you you'll get the best of both worlds and then look at getting into boxing, Ben out of boxing, but I wouldn't advise it unless you've had a good handful of fights. It's, you know, it's, it's a hard old game and um, not everyone can stay as pretty as me doing it. Like, Yeah. Are you fighting like in a, a ring or like a cage, like an MMA cage? It's, 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 a, it's a specially built ring, it's a circle. So a circle of ropes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Very different to... Um, boxing it's like you've got no corners so although they've got corner posts in them it's like smooth so you, 
you can't really get backed into a corner. But the ropes are hard, so you can't use the ropes to lean or flum. So, yeah, so it's, it's a different game. Ah, oh, okay. And do you want to shout out, like, your manager or anyone who's, like, helped you in your career so far? Yeah, I, I've got a great team by me with um, James Wallace, uh, David Owen and Josh Kagan. Uh, they, 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 they've they been with me since, <clears throat> well, I don't know, four or five years now since we've done the bare knuckle. And we're a good team, you know. Um, i got loads of sponsors, but people are better off going on my Instagram to see them because they've got a long list. But yeah, they're the main ones, you know. My family are very supportive and without them, we wouldn't be here. Yes. And I want to say a massive thank you for coming to do this interview today. No problem, mate. Thank you for having me. Good luck, mate. Absolutely smash it. Sorry, my screen went off then. Uh, yeah, no problem, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks for Bye, having me, Sam.